Well, Piers Morgan has weighed in on what's happening on Twitter. Ever since Elon Musk acquired the company for $44 billion last month, a lot of left-leaning users have complained, either threatening to leave the platform or actually exiting it. It has entertained conservatives who have spent the last few years accusing Twitter of censoring free speech and acting with bias towards the right. But Elon Musk said before he even took over the company that under his watch it would be a platform for everyone. However, Liberals, or the woke as they've been referred to, are already critical of what Elon Musk has implemented and what he will allow. Twitter users have questioned where he will draw the line if there is a desire to allow free speech without any sort of censorship. He's already declared online that conspiracy theorist Alex Jones will not be allowed back on the platform because of what he said about the children who died in the Sandy Hook massacre. Elon responded to a tweet writing, My firstborn child died in my arms. I felt his last heartbeat. I have no mercy for anyone who would use the deaths of children for gain, politics or fame. However, he has already controversially allowed former President Donald Trump, Kanye Ye West and Jordan Peterson to return to the site. Piers Morgan writes that decision, along with others made by Elon Musk, has got people online whining about the death of Twitter. To which the Sky News Australia host questioned why those people don't just leave Twitter. Elon Musk responded, seriously. Piers Morgan wrote in his piece, it was an exchange that I'm sure prompted a lot of whiny woke brats to immediately throw their permanently offended toys out of their sanctimonious strollers and announce they were quitting the platform. Mr Morgan compared what's happening on Twitter to when all hell broke loose after Donald Trump was elected as president in 2016. And myriad celebrities from Cher to Chelsea Handler said they would be leaving America immediately. Of course, none of them did. And I confidently predict it will be just the same with all the stars now racing to say they're quitting Twitter because the owner is someone who will no longer tolerate their cancel culture BS. As Piers Morgan writes, the hysteria of Elon Musk's takeover has been self-righteous, nauseating and hypocritical. Already there has been so many celebrities taking to the platform to announce their exit off the social media site because Elon Musk now owns it. It can't be ignored that the Tesla founder has publicly spoken about how he has never once voted Republican until this year, labelling himself as more independent-minded. Members of Hollywood, including Whoopi Goldberg, Shonda Rhimes, Gigi Hadid, Tony Braxton, Sarah Bareilles and Stephen Fry are just a few of the names who have declared they are out. Pierce Morgan writes, The best assessment I've heard about Musk's first few tumultuous weeks came from one of his most loyal investors. I think none of this has gone to plan. 0% of it. That's how Elon works. That's just the way he is. I'm never betting against this guy. Listing his accomplishments, of which were doubted beyond belief until those companies saw to become incredibly successful, Morgan writes that Twitter will be no different under the leadership of Elon Musk. And he will again with Twitter, with the added benefit that this time he's also exposing the woke brigade for the shallow, biased, hypocritical little twerps that I've always known them to be.